Um, today I'm going to be cooking, basically, I'm taking some fresh salad, and this salad got, uh, iceberg and Roman lettuce, carrots, pea pods, red cabbage, and radish, uh, radishes, how do you say that? You know what I'm talking about. I'm also going to be cooking some sugar snap peas in there, and I thought my mom bought eggs last night, but she didn't, so I was going to scramble an egg in that, but as you can see, I got the peas and the onions in here. And I'm about to go ahead and season them with garlic powder. You want the cane? I like a little spice when I do my vegetables. Seasoning salt, just to give it like a salty a flavor, I guess. And then adobo. Y'all know this one. Now, I got my heat on three, but I'm about to cut it up to about five because I'm about to cook the onions and the peas, and I'm using coconut oil. So, it says it do good with heat. So, I'm about to put this in there. I'm pretty much kind of like frying them in a way, sizzling them. That's going to pop on me. I can tell. And coconut oil melts pretty fast, as I said in my other videos. So I'm going to pause this while I cook this, and I'll show y'all what I'm doing with this. Alright, y'all. So I just poured in the peas and the uh, onions. And that is sizzling in the coconut oil. I'm not going to rinse the bowl out because I'm going to put the lettuce in there and give it some of that other flavor that just came from the... Um, the <laughs> The peas and the onion. And I'm hoping this is already rinsed off, but if not, it's about to get it's about to get cooked anyways. And yeah, I am cooking it in coconut oil instead of like regular oil or butter. The only thing I will be adding on the salad is uh garlic salt and some black pepper since the other stuff got seasoning. I don't like mine to be like too salty. So the garlic salt should hopefully do that job of saltying the food. So I think it's about where I like it. The onions and the, the peas. And it smells pretty good in here. I mean, to be honest, the onions burn my eyes just a little bit, but it's not that bad. Now, this brand, I don't think my mama bought this one last time, which is the uh, Green Giant one. The last one she got me, were they were darker. These are lighter. I don't know if that's good or bad, but... Okay. I have to watch my time, because I run out of space quickly in my phone. I got a lot of images on that. So, I mixed up the, the peas just like I did, just like I'm doing the salad, just to get the seasonings all over it. And I'm about to pour it on top of that. This way you can see like how it's cooking. I got the, uh, it's all just sizzling on top of each other. So if I were to call this something, I would just call it like a vegetable stir fry. Except there's no rice involved in this. I mean, so I got a lot of flavors going on here, and I'm cooking it in like uh, coconut oil. So it shouldn't be like a buttery taste or even a vegetable oil taste, like because you know what that tastes like. It should be like a. Um, it should have the aroma taste to it. But I also forgot to tell y'all my video last night that. The coconut oil says it's naturally refined. And I don't know what that means yet. I'm going to look it up. But maybe it's not that bad. Because it got a lot of stuff that says it's good. It got NSF certified, which means it's gluten free, USDA organic, and non GMO verified. So that's pretty good, y'all. But this is all I'm doing to it for the rest of it. So I'm going to stop the video here. And I'll talk to y'all later.